Hey guys, it's Jack Cantus here again with another guide for the Crockpot this time. Very much well requested video with my assistant chef Winona here. I'm going to teach you guys how to make Crockpot meals today in the breakfast category in my opinion. So you guys stop making boring and failed recipes in your Crockpots around your campfires and your faces. Like wet goop. Everybody's frustrated when they make wet goop because you don't know the recipes by heart. And who wants to troll the wikis when you can come to this video and watch? Or, you're tired of your clanmates making nothing but meatballs. Nobody wants to eat meatballs. They suck. They're not that bad. But, I'll teach you guys how to make more and innovative recipes at your crock pot. And I'll teach you guys how to get these ingredients later. I know there's a lot of ingredients and it's overwhelming, but I'll teach you guys exactly where to find these in a different video after I'm done with the series. So don't worry if you guys don't know where to find something specific. I will teach you. Coming up on our first recipe for the day is bacon and eggs, everybody's favorite in the morning. These bad boys will give you 20 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity. They take 40 seconds to cook in a crock pot and 20 days to rot. Now there's a lot of different recipe combinations here, especially for ROG, Don't Starve Together, and Shipwrecked. But as you can see, they're simple. It's mostly a filler, two large meat items, and eggs. That's the most simplistic form to make bacon and eggs. Don't worry about what kind of meat that you guys have. As long as you don't put too much monster meat in there, you shouldn't get monster lasagna. But jerky also works, cooked meat, morsels, frog legs, fish, all works on here. Doi doi eggs, tall bird eggs, and also bird eggs cooked or raw will work in this. So don't worry about what you got lying around that pantry. Coming up on our second recipe would be the butter muffin, a personal favorite of mine. It's a really simplistic recipe that you can do day one in your crock pot. Now this, this little boy will give you 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity. 40 seconds in the crock pot, 15 days to rot guys. This is really simple. Two filler, one veggie, two butterfly wings. You can put more butterfly wings, less butterfly wings, more veggies or not. Make sure you have a butterfly wing in this recipe. Shipwreck and ROG is a little bit different. It works very well and don't starve together. It's my favorite thing to pick up because it gives you a decent amount of hunger and it heals you when you're out there and doing combat. Butterflies are relatively easy to get when it's not winter. And just practice kiting your butterflies. A lot of things can work as veggies in this recipe, guys, so don't be over intimidated by the vegetable factor that you need in here. It's a really simplistic recipe that heals a ton and it's easy to make. And here, are another healthy alternative in breakfast is the fruit medley. This is a really interesting one where it requires fruit and a filler, but you can really duff up this recipe really easy. I mess it up all the time. It gives you 20 health, 25 hunger, 5 sanity, 10 seconds in the crock pot, 6 days to rot, guys. It's a really complicated recipe for something that can just give you jam. Like as you can see here, I'm trying to make fruit medley in the video right here, and I even duff it up. So. Be careful what you guys are doing here, especially the factor with what di different kinds of fruits you're putting in there and berries. See, like I got jam on that one. But it's a really interesting recipe that I can't seem to nail, but it seems that pomegranates are almost, almost the key. Like you got monster lasagna there because you're using two durian. But in the example, you can use three durian. So go ahead and grab yourself a twig and play it safe when you guys have extra fruit growing around from all your farms and you can make yourself a nice ice cold fruit medley and help you out in the summer. Mmm, does not look delicious. Cocktail of fruit. Good, good, good. Here's another easy recipe that most of you probably already know. Fistful of jam. Probably the easiest one to make in the crock pot. Easy 3 health, 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, 10 seconds in the crock pot, 15 days to rot. Now this is a really interesting one where you can use a lot of filler in this recipe, guys. But mostly, primarily, you need berries to make this jam. So that's more, uh, more likely what I use. You can use any kind of berries cooked, raw, uh, you can use the juicy or the normal berries that you normally find, and ice is usually a good filler if you guys have stocked up in the winter. It's a quick little snack that you can make on the fly, alternative meatballs if you guys can't find meat. I love it, it's a great recipe if you need some hunger points. Here's another weird one guys, pumpkin cookies. This one I didn't know about for a while. Now this one's interesting in the fact that, that it gives you no health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity. It takes 40 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. This is a really interesting one for the fact that pumpkin and sweetener is necessary in this recipe, guys. So, don't mess it up. You guys can use filler, like mushrooms, twigs, monster meat if you have to get rid of it, just to get a pumpkin cookie. It's a good, like, little sanity food when you guys are running low on sanity and you might have, well, you know, got lucky on a farm and got a pumpkin. So, if you guys don't want to cook that pumpkin just for the raw health, you guys can cook it for some free sanity. Yum yum. Here's another deciduous forest treat that you guys can get. It is trail mix, one of my favorites. I don't know, I have a lot of favorites. Don't judge me. I'm a culinarian at heart. So, this requires fruit 
and a birch nut, a roasted birch nut. So if you guys are basing in the deciduous forest, this can be an easy pick-me-up snack when you guys need to heal. The benefits outweigh the negatives in this one. It gives you 5 sanity, 30 health, and 12.5 hunger, 10 seconds in a crock pot, 15 days to rot. So the reason I like this one is because it's a decent healing item for what it costs. It costs berries, twigs, and a roasted nut that you might as well just replant and make a tree. It's a nice little quick snack that you can eat on the go to heal yourself up if you guys are in combat. I like it a lot, especially if you're based in deciduous forest. Here's a late game recipe for you guys, waffles. Everybody loves waffles. This is a harder one to get because you need butter. So you need butter in general to get this. It's a 2% drop when you attack butterflies, and this bad boy gives you 60 health, 30, um, 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, 10 seconds in the crock pot, 6 days to rot. So you need a sweetener, an egg, butter, and some filler items. So you can use twigs, ice, other berries. It's a very complicated recipe, the fact that you guys need butter. So go smacking them butterflies and see if you guys can get butter. Snag yourself a waffle on day one. Really, really easy recipe if you know how to use it. And it heals for a lot, guys. Here's one from the shipwreck page of recipes. Coffee. Coffee's really awesome. Gives you 3 health, 9.375 hunger, really oddly specific number. Negative 5 sanity, uh, 10 seconds in the crock pot, 10 days to rot. Coffee's amazing for one reason, guys. That when you drink it, it gives you a speed boost. A really decent speed boost. And you can run around and do more errands instead of, you know, walking around. It stacks with the cane as well. It's really helpful. So what you're going to need is a sweetener and three coffee beans. Or you can pour four coffee beans in there. Look how fast you go. I'll show you how to get coffee beans in another video, guys. Here's one from Shipwreck for you guys who like to play Warly. So, fresh fruit crepes. Amazing item. 60 health. 150 hunger, 15 sanity, 20 seconds in the crock pot, rots in 10 days. Now this one is interesting in the fact that you need to cook it in his unique little crock pot for it to work. Now you can use two of any fruit, butter, and a sweetener. So you can guys you can use coconuts, you can use bananas that you find on the island, you can even use durian if you'd like to. It prioritizes over monster lasagna, I believe so. Don't quote me on that. But fresh fruit, fresh fruit grapes are a great way to fill up that hungry culinarian on that deserted island, guys. And I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. I have four more videos coming out in this series. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.